How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C-Sharp programming series. Today we are going to be looking at um, some decimal and currency formatting. And before we get into the main program, um, we need to look at our account class here. Um, <clears throat> for starters, we have a private decimal called a balance. And the decimal type is basically is useful for um, non... Um, what do you call it, uh, floating point numbers. Um, the reason we are using decimal, let me try to check my notes here, we're finding out where I'm at exactly. Uh, just give me a second here, okay. So, we use decimal um, basically in like a type of a, a floating point literal. Uh, to, for a decimal literal, we need we type the letter M, which in our main program you can see the M right here. Um, that that indicates that it is a decimal, and M means money, which will format the um, dollar sign in front of it. So the M is a decimal literal rather than a double. Integer literals are implicitly converted into type float, double, or decimal when they are assigned to a value of one of these types. Um, floating point numbers are not always 100% precise. They have numerous applications. So like when, uh, take the body temperature for example, we round that off to 98.6 instead of 98.599947, so on and so forth. Um, rounding it up to 98.6 is fine for most applications involving body temperature. So because they are so imprecise, uh, decimal is preferred over floating point types whenever calculations need to be exact, such as with monetary calculations. So that's why we're using a decimal hill here in our class. And then we have the constructor, which will uh, basically set the initial balance of whatever we declare an object with to balance. Um, we have a um, credit function, which will basically add an amount to the balance and then our get and set functions. <clears throat> so it's a pretty simple class. So going into our main program, we have two types of accounts here. We call them account one and account two, and we initialize them to new account. One is going to have $50, and one is going to have negative $7.53. Um, so again, using the money because we want exact calculations here, and this format option, when we output C, is currency. It, again, it will output the dollar sign in front of it. So let's go ahead and run this and look at our first two lines of output, which are generated from console.writeLine. Um, as you can see here, we're accessing account one balance and account two balance. So now notice here the number in parentheses. That means it is a negative number, okay? Um, so account one has fifty dollars, account two has negative seven dollars and fifty three cents. Then we declare a decimal type, we call that deposit, and then we are prompting the user to enter the amount to deposit, convert whatever they enter to decimal and store it in deposit, and then we call the um, we're output adding whatever the user entered to account balance deposit and then we call our credit function on account one with our member access operator the the dot and then the, here's the credit function with deposit as a parameter so whatever the user entered will be put into that function deposit and then we will be um, generating our next two lines of output with the new account one balance and the same account two balance so again enter amount to deposit Let's enter five dollars. Okay, you can just enter five or five point zero zero, however you want to do it. But if you enter five, it will take that adding five dollars to account balance. So now account balance, account one balance is fifty-five dollars, and the account two balance is still negative seven fifty-three. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add whatever the user enters into account two. So let's enter just enough to bring that above negative. Let's enter eight dollars. Okay, so we'll generate our next two lines of output with um, account one balance and account two balance again. And as you can see here, now account two now has 47 cents. We are above the negative. So um, that is 
whoops, those are a couple of different ways to format your output. There are also, also um, a couple more formatting options. We covered C for currency. There's also a D, capital D or lowercase d, which will format the string as a decimal and display the number as an integer. There is an N, which formats the string with a thousandth separator and a default of two decimal places. The thousandth separator, which would be the common every three um, places here. The E, which will format the number using scientific notation with a default of six decimal places. The F, which will format the string with a fixed number of decimal places, two uh, by default. We also have G, which will format the number normally with decimal places or using scientific notation depending on context. Um, so in with G, if format item does not contain a format specifier, format G is assumed implicitly. And finally there is X, which will format the string as a hexadecimal. Um, again, currency is probably the most widely used formatting option in C Sharp. Um, so that will probably also go by opinion, but that's the one I see the most anyway. So that's all we're going to cover for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you for my next video.